At the heart of the Cupra Leon competition is a 2.0 liter turbocharged petrol engine that produces 340 PS at 6,800 RPM and 410 Newton meters of torque along most of the RPM range. Linked to a six-speed sequential racing transmission, it can reach 100 kilometers per hour in just 4.5 seconds and has a top speed of 260 kilometers per hour. Well, hello, good evening from my side. Uh, Cupra is pioneering once again in racing world. And tonight we are going to present the link between racing cars and street. And the best way to do that is thanks to the Cupra Leon competition. Well, as you can see, it's a car that has improved aerodynamic efficiency. We have more downforce, and we also managed to get less drag. We managed to also to, do, uh, to reduce the weight in order to have uh, lighter suspension components with better kinematics. And with this, we managed also to reduce this, uh, this inertia that we have on the car. So we have a better weight distribution. About the engine, we have a new 2-liter turbo engine with uh, 340 horsepower and uh, 410 newton meter torque. That uh, gives us a very good acceleration and through the whole range of RPMs. And all the electronics are made in-house with our engineers just nearby. So this gives us very good performances. Uh, we have a 260 km per hour top speed and the acceleration from zero to 100 is around 4.5 seconds. So I can say that we have a car that is ready to compete in the upcoming TCR championships. And let, believe me, I'm sure with a very, very good results. So now uh, that's about that car. Matthias, can you tell us about the uh, electric racing cars? Sure. Good evening, everybody. Uh, pleasure to see so many of you here. The first 100% uh, electric Cupra race car is also with us here tonight. So please welcome the new Cupra e-racer. This car has 680 horsepower, nearly 1,000 Newton meter of torque. It does 0 to 100 in 3.2 seconds, 0 to 200 in 8.2 seconds, and a top speed of 270. For me, this is a lot of impressive facts, and uh, I think it's cool. Remember, it's rear-wheel drive. While electric power is going to be one of the core uh, pillars for Cupra's uh, motorsport activities, all the engineers at Cupra have been developing this car so that we will have to transmit a completely new experience to the racetrack. Yesterday, I was in Paris and for the uh, presentation of the new Pure ETCR series. First, this year, we will do some demo races and uh, some promo promotion. And uh, later on, we will uh, also go racing in 2021, where it will be eight races. I must say, uh, I'm really excited to be part of this. And the first event we will go is in Goodwood, in the famous hill climb in the middle of July. And after, there will also be some other events. And especially excited I am to team up with you as a team at your day. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. As we both have a lot of experience from the racetracks over the years, we would like to try and bring this knowledge to the street. And uh, as Wayne requested that uh, we should try and get this knowledge into the new Cupra Leon, we have done our best. And uh, now we will show you a little video from this. And uh, enjoy it and see you later. Electric propulsion is at the core of Cupra's racing strategy. And the brand's engineers have developed the first 100% electric touring race car to integrate the powertrain technology of the future. The Cupra e-racer, the world's first all-electric racing touring car, is a reality, providing a combined 680 PS of peak power and 960 newton meters of torque from its single-speed four electric motors and a liquid-cooled 65 kilowatts per hour battery pack. The race car is ready to redefine motorsport. <laughs> 